The History Channel's reality program American Restoration had Rick Dale as its star for six seasons. The main focus of the show was on his everyday operations in his antique restoration business, where he and his family and team brought a wide range of vintage artifacts back to life. But in 2014, the show was cancelled without a formal justification from its creators. After two years, it was revived with a fresh cast and restoration business. This sparked a lot of discussion about what happened to Rick, with theories ranging from significant health concerns, internal strife, family issues, and creating his own TV show. So why did Rick Dale leave American Restoration, and where is he today? If you want to know all about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. And let's get started. Rick was born in Newport Beach, California on December 13, 1970. But his family later relocated to Boulder City, Nevada. He was raised in a poor household, and when he was nine years old, his father started teaching him how to fix things. His father had challenged him and his brother Ron to restore a broken-down bicycle as the first step. Rick was happy with both the outcome and the repair procedure as a whole. Since then, the Dale brothers have inherited their father's love of restoring antiques. When Rick was 13 years old, his father enrolled him in a neighborhood soapbox derby program and gave him a soapbox derby kit and fiberglass as well. After that, Rick built his own automobiles and won a few championship soapbox derby races. Although it has been reported that he wasn't the best, he spent a lot of time studying how to create them. Following that, he switched to motorcycles, which he enjoyed disassembling and repairing. After that, Rick gained a reputation as one of the industry's leaders after a few years of success in the restoration company. So later, he received an invitation to take part as a consultant in Pawn Star's reality TV episodes that focused on the restoration of antiques. The TV producers then thought of having Rick star in his own reality show, the spin-off series American Restoration. And this was the beginning of American Restoration. Since a season of a reality show lasted for roughly 26 episodes, Rick was first hesitant to launch one, since he thought he wouldn't know where to start after restoring about five items. But he eventually accepted to act in the show, and it debuted on June 6, 2012. He and his crew restored a variety of antiques over the course of six seasons. Considering that they also dealt with several makes of historic cars and motorbikes, there was a point when the program was even referred to as a part automobile restoration show. However, Rick immediately discovered that filming at home was challenging because it wasn't designed for TV production. Moreover, some people even invaded their privacy by unexpectedly showing up at their house at any time of day as his TV show started to gain popularity. When it was revealed that the TV program would not return for a seventh season, viewers were shocked because it was popular and one of the most watched programs on the History Channel. Like most TV cancellations, producers didn't offer any official explanation as to why the show ended unceremoniously. Basically, the top reason for any TV show cancellation is because of low ratings, which would mean low advertising revenue. However, American Restorations wasn't doing badly enough to warrant a cancellation, so tongues wagged, with most speculating that there was an internal feud within the production people, Rick had health issues, or they were having marital problems. The TV program was then revived by History Channel in 2016, two years after it had been cancelled. However, this time it featured five different repair shops and a new cast. Soon after, Rick made an emotional video on YouTube without fully explaining what had happened but making it clear that he was wounded and angry about it. Prior to concluding the brief video, he urged his followers to post their criticism on the official American Restoration page on the History Channel website, adding that it was crucial to let everyone know how they felt about it. Lastly, he thanked everyone who had offered messages of support on Facebook. So why did Rick leave American Restoration? While Rick's crew was never again recruited to appear in the revival of the show, he nevertheless felt some sense of vindication because the program stalled after only one season on television. No additional episodes were commissioned since the new cast never connected with the previous show's viewers and failed to garner the TV ratings the producers hoped for. Now let's take a look at some of the real reasons why Rick's crew won't be back on American Restoration. 
First of all, there were rumors that Rick's attitude was making it impossible for the TV producers to deal with him and that it was no longer advisable to do so. But it would be prudent to treat all speculation with a grain of salt as the producers made no formal statements. Additionally, the shop's public tour was inadequate. The public tour of Rick's shop received negative reviews from fans, according to online comments. Fans believed that Rick overpriced the tour with exorbitant costs, especially in light of the tour's brief duration. The general public could choose between two kinds of tours. Fans could only look in the windows during the $5 for a 10-minute tour and no photos or interactions with the cast were permitted. Additionally, they were not given much access to the gift shop. Therefore, fans anticipated that the $50 tour would provide more access. But other than the ability to take photos and the opportunity to see a few restored pieces, there were no other further benefits. However, if fans gave an additional $25 in the package, they got to have a photo taken with Rick by the official photographer. But they needed to wait for it to be mailed to them. Furthermore, it was unclear whether the TV producers participated in the tour or whether they received a cut of the proceeds. It was said that the TV execs heard about the bad reviews and were concerned about how it would affect the show. In addition to this, complaints regarding subpar and incomplete restoration work were made. Regrettably, there were charges that Rick often overcharged his consumers for unfinished work. An 85-year-old man by the name of Angel Delgadio, for instance, reportedly contracted Rick's services and even permitted filming of his show, American Restoration, at his own memorabilia store so that Rick could fix an antique jukebox. They decided that Rick would receive $4,000 from Angel in exchange for restoring it to its original state. However, the jukebox wasn't fixed when Angel received it. It was polished and cleaned on the outside, but it wasn't functional. The issue was that Rick had already cashed the check, and Angel had trouble getting in touch with him to ask why. Only after the story went viral did Rick take the necessary steps to have it fixed without incurring further costs. So while Rick had masterfully repaired several objects, viewers saw that occasionally some of his employees were not that concerned about the restoration process, and they produced subpar work. Last but not least, a Change.org petition was unsuccessful. There was a rumor that a devoted fan started a petition on Change.org to encourage the cable network to reinstate Rick's crew on History Channel. But sadly, the petition never truly got traction due to a lack of fan support. Only 15 signatures were reportedly collected for the petition, indicating that not enough people were eager to see them back on TV. So what is Rick doing now? As far as we can tell, Rick no longer works in the antique restoration industry, but based on his social media posts, he appears to be content, spending time with his wife, children, and grandchildren. It turns out that Rick has established My Best Font Forward Creations, a laser-cutting and embroidery business in Las Vegas. They provide a variety of goods including Christmas hangings and laser-cut decorations. He has also started writing books. His most recent book about vintage soda machines has a rating of 4 out of 5 on Amazon. Rick, you rock! In conclusion, even though American Restoration is no longer on television, it was seen in more than 87 countries and featured over 120 episodes during Rick's time on the show's first six seasons, which ran from 2010 to 2014. The series drew a weekly average of about 3 million viewers according to the official TV ratings given at the time. Additionally, it was claimed that the episode Pick, Pawn, and Polish had the greatest rating ever for the History Channel, with more than 6.5 million viewers. Rick was right, after all, when he said, There would be only one Rick's Restorations, and that would be American Restoration. That's all for today. If you are interested in our channel, have a look at this video. Thank you for watching, and make sure to subscribe!